I'm just wondering, do I want to start the food first? I'm already filming. Oh yeah, okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, out and about, and just said I want to keep you guys up to date with any changes and stuff that I've got to start bringing in my programme, so, travelling a bit more now. Normally, re normally in the off-season, probably like you guys, if you're travelling out and about, you'll take the food that you need, you'll obviously take your protein, things like that, but then make sure you're getting stuff along the way. There's always places like Tesco, supermarkets where you can pick up stuff, but as it gets closer to competition time, certainly it's sort of like 12 weeks out, even longer, you want to be making sure that you're spot on exactly with your meal. So normally, I'll switch them around if I'm due to have sort of maybe oats in the morning, and then potato and tuna, I may mix it up, I may have like two, three protein drinks in a row, slightly out of time, mix those meals up, but I want to be specific and strategic, so now, I'm um, just going to make sure that when I travel, as in like today, I'm more prepared, so what I'll do is I'll carry like a box of, not done, <laughs> I don't, don't carry conflicts, just a little joke there, still got my sense of humor, this is what we've got, this is what we've got, so, um, I'm going to be out from, what is it, probably 9 till 7, 8 at the latest, so got 6 meals here, it doesn't look like 6 meals, but we've got some chicken and rice, this is where I'm at, we've got sort of um, 56 grams of uncooked rice, uh, uncooked rice. Um, we've got some chicken in there, probably about, um, never mind, about, we've got 125 grams of turkey in there. Got the same 56 grams of pasta, 125 grams of turkey, and then just a mixture of veg in there. I've got Autobix, which is my emergency carb. I'll use that for um, just a really clean carb, really low in fat, lots of good fiber in there, and I'll mix that up with my protein drink. So I'm experimenting with a couple of different protein drinks, using all different types, trying to work out which are the best for me at this time so working with lots of different companies i'll soon let you guys know exactly which i think are the best um in packages in terms of that i've got my udos also my essential fats tin of tuna just need to get all of a potato which i can get from any supermarkets grocers bang that in any microwave wherever i am and um, water's available in every tap so just in sort of 40 minutes this morning i've managed to prepare 40 minutes to an hour um, six emergency meals where it's super clean, every meal is going to be on time, I'm not missing out, I'm sticking exactly to the plan, probably should take me up to where I need to be with just five of those meals and then just one extra just in case, so guys there's absolutely no excuse to not stick to the plan, not to be totally on point, little bit of preparation in the morning and then you've got your meals for the day, you've got everything done, you stay right on track, don't let different things, don't let your social calendar or your jobs or circumstances get in the way you train the competition. I want now from here to competition to be, whether it's 12 weeks, work that out with maths. 84 days, 84 days. Oh, that's clever. 84 days, I'm looking at 84 what I call 10 out of 10 days. So each day that I have, I'll judge it. Did I get my food in on time? Did I sleep well? Did I rest well? Did I get my flexibility in? And give it a mark out of 10. And I want to know that I'm standing on stage at the end of, of the preparation knowing that I've had 84 perfect days. If I can, 84, 10 out of 10 days. If not, we're looking at 9 out of 10 days. If I get on and I know there were days where I missed meals or I had to make do with cornflakes because I didn't have stuff prepared and I was eating things that were off the diet and I'm going to stand on stage knowing that maybe there were 70 days out of 84 that you know, I went spot on, I didn't do everything I needed to do. You can't afford to do that and be a world champion at the end of it. So, from here on in, this is my first day out of those last ones. It's going to be a 10 out of 10 day for me today. Um, you see how it's done, guys. Let's see if you can incorporate that into the stuff that you're doing. Just make things aim for that 10 out of 10 day in your preparation. It doesn't have to be perfect as far as I do it. But as far as you can do, do your very, very best. That's all we ever ask of you. Aim for that 10 out of 10, and let's see you just achieving what you want to. So, this is me signing up for now. Still not sure I had any physique today. Just wanted to show you what I do in preparation in terms of my travelling. But I'm signing out saying this is Jason Barnett saying, absolutely love and adore God. I love people just as much. And I'm loving life and loving this bodybuilding journey I'm on. Dry out my bix and all. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>